What's happening guys? Another classic Kawasaki 250 Enduro. This one's in really beautiful condition. Let me give you a quick demo ride on it and then we'll bring it inside and talk all about it. Japanese two stroke. How was it? Freaking fantastic. I didn't want to stop riding it around. 
One of my all-time favorite motorcycles, the vintage 252 stroke Enduro, absolutely hoot to ride. Great power to weight ratio. Whoops, I put my dealer plate on upside down. <laughs> oh my God. So uh, yeah, um, this bike just reeks of nostalgia to me. It's, it's a 1970 or 71 model. They were the same Kawasaki F8250. I believe this was the first of the model run of this type of bike with a steel tank, high front fender, um, enduro setup. It came from the factory with the full light setup, tack and speedo. This one only has 3,761 miles on it. This came from Jeff Casting at All Sport Cycles. Um, Jeff's shutting his shop down and got the place up for sale and we bought his whole inventory. This is one of the bikes he had up there. Uh, it was originally owned by a college student who bought it from Campus Motors in Center Reach, New York and used it for transportation to get to school and back. Just a fantastic original bike. Um, I believe the tires are, are even the original tires on it. I'm 99.99% sure these are the original Dunlop tires on there. The paint is original, uh, seat cover is original, tack and speedo, all original as are the bars. Really cool classic. Zone in on that tail, tail light lens there. It's a cool, really cool uh, one or two year only model. Um, we've got a nice work order here with a bottom line total of $1,839, including six and a half hours of service labor and nine and a half hours in a detail shop. I'll read this off to you exactly what the boys did to get this thing looking the way it does. Um, it, uh, it's been all cleaned up. It's got a new battery in it, new spark plug, uh, new spark plug resistor cover, brand new chain, brand new exhaust springs, brand new handlebar grips, new fuel line, uh, six volt horn and new six volt horn, uh, of course, new gear lube, quart of uh, MTL Maxima gear lube, and a six volt taillight bulb. All the parts were purchased from our friends at Parts Unlimited. Napoleon specifically. <laughs> He's right over there. What's happening, Napoleon? How you, how you doing, brother? He's uh, one of our partners trying to save uh, off-road riding areas in, in New England. We just had a, you might have seen the protest we did at Town Hall, 500 motorcyclists showed up. And he's here today to talk about the actual uh, opening possibly of an off-road riding area in the South Windsor, uh, east, east, east of Hartford area, correct? Absolutely. Pretty excited about that, excited about that. So anyways, back to the bike. Um, it checked out with a perfect 175 PSI compression. Um, the air filter has been uh, cleaned and has obviously brand new, uh, fresh, non-ethanol fuel and it used VP, uh, new two-stroke oil. All the lights were gone through, the tires were checked. Um, new plug and plug cap, I mentioned earlier, chain, springs for the exhaust, new brake light bulb, new fuel line, uh, drain and filled the tranny oil with 80 weight oil, um, added two-cycle two oil to the oil tank. They also disassembled the front brake because it wasn't work working properly. They took the wheel off, cleaned the brakes, adjusted the front brakes. Um, put a brand new air filter in it, actually. Uh, I forgot, that's uh, further down the list here. Brand new grips. Uh, changed the shifter position, adjusted, adjusted the levers. Um, changed the kickstarter position, installed a brand new battery and vent hose, and replaced the dash light bulbs. So um, the horn doesn't, still doesn't work, and we're not sure uh, if, that, if that's uh, something in electrical or a uh, ground or something, but uh, they put a new horn in it, it still didn't work, and the, the high-low headlight switch has a short on it, so it needs a new headlight switch. Other than that, it runs beautifully, and it's a good classic original. Uh, in a detail shop, they washed it top to bottom. They took the gas tank seat off of it to clean everything thoroughly, um, polished the, the uh, aluminum and chrome on it. All of the aluminum and chrome was clean and polished. The motor was repainted, and the wheels were polished, and all the painted pieces were buffed. The gas tank and, and everything's original paint, it's not a repaint. The um, headlight bucket was repainted and some miscellaneous parts on the bike were taken off and vapor blasted uh, and cleaned. I believe the shocks, we have a new vapor blaster, so they took some of the components off. Just a good thorough all day, nine and a half hour, top to bottom, rotisserie style detail while maintaining the original patina and color of the bike without any touch up work on the, on the tank or paint. So um, that's about it. Uh, like I said, bottom line on the work order was $1,881. Um, it's not perfect. It's a 50-year-old dirt bike. Uh, it's got a couple of, uh, you know, a little bit of patina on the, on the paint job and a uh, um, little tiny ding in the rear fender right here. You can see. Let's take a look at that little tiny ding right there. Um, a little tiny blemish on, on, the, on the, the original seat cover here and here. Um, the, faint, the paint isn't perfect, but it's got this really cool, look at the gas cap on this thing. This is a massive original steel gas tank. They don't make them like that anymore. Um, 
great graphics on it. Again, the engine was, was clean and repainted, and Jeff at All Sports Cycle had tuned it before we got it, so we didn't have to do much to it mechanically. So that's about it. Junior, you want to add anything about this? I know you, you're really into the vintage Enduros. Let's hear your take on this on this classic. Not a whole lot to say, guys. Uh, back when uh, everything was steel, early model uh, Japanese two-strokes, Yamaha led the craze, and then the Kawasaki uh, one up them here with the rotary valve inducted 250 F8. Um, we don't I think this is the first F8 we've ever brought through in this kind of shape, aside from basket cases and resto candidates. But 19-inch front wheel, those big uh, Dunlop DOT-approved uh, universal trials tires. Um, guys, the, the headlight was working. Unfortunately, Wizard couldn't figure out the short, and instead of chasing it for hours and hours and having to price the bike out of the market, um, mechanically, the bike is all set. Um, electrically, there's, it leaves something to be desired, possibly a new headlight switch and the horn issue looked at. I'm pretty sure Jeff at, at All Sports Cycles, these, these are new fork boot rubbers. I'm 99% sure Jeff did these in the fork seals. Um, I didn't get a work order from him, but the bike was in good, good running order when we got it. We just went through and did everything I said we did to it. Um, it has the original foot peg rubbers on here, which are the original, uh, kind of a porcupine look, kind of a unique original. It has an original chain guide, upper and lower, and the pipe guide. It's original matching numbers. Beautiful bike with the kickstand. Um, there is a little bit of tape uh, patching a hole on the seat right here. I want to disclose that. I didn't even see that. Yeah, I just I just noticed that. Um, and of course, on this side, there's a little bit of patina on the paint job, and a little bit of touch-up uh, paint was done on a on it up here. On uh, you know, it's original paint, 50 50 year old classic. So with low miles, it runs great. Um, surely to go up and draft and value. If you have any questions, give us a call 860-454-7024. Good luck bidding on it, and God bless America.